Hello everyone. In the previous video, we successfully pulled our the ethnic as a user and then we created our data array, right? So now the time is to send this uh, email to uh, this user, right? So here I'm going to pass the user and then user email. So it will grab the the ethnic as email and then I'm going to pass this data to this email. So basically, I want to pass the dynamic parameter. To this bet mail so how can I pass this one so it's very simple so let's grab this data property and add this here data and then you don't need to define this as an array right so now the time is to let's go to the this bet mail and here we are going to receive this mail here this data here not mail data and how we can uh, we are receiving this data here so let me dd this data for you it's a data and uh, let's send this an email so now we are going to receive this data so let me hide this and yes now we are receiving this uh, data which we are passing it from this web.php file so how can i send this to this view so it's very simple so you need to define a public property here at the top so let's define a public property of data and then you need to assign this to a data. So here I'm going to assign this this data and then here I'm going to pass this data. So I'm passing this data to this variable by using this one, right? So I'm assigning this one. Okay, so how can I access this in the view? So let's uh, pass this as an array or you can also pass this as compact method. So here you need to type data and then remember you need to don't need to type this data like this because this will not be available. So you need to type uh, this first and then you need to type this data. So this data will be this data variable will be available in the bet, right? So let's go to the bet and here at the top I'm going to first uh, display this data. So I'm going to I'm in the blade. So that's why I'm die dumping in the way of blade. So here I'm going to add the data and then I'm going to concat this uh, data is uh, let me concat this before. So it will be data is uh, data is this one, right? So let's go here and send it again. So I refreshed it. And it says array to string conversion. Why? Because I have added this here a string. So let's remove this one and give it a refresh. So it's going to print out. And yes, now it's printing it from the blade file, not from the controller or mail file, right? So here you can also, I'm now I'm going to pass here a name, right? So where is the welcome? So welcome is here. And now I'm going to add the welcome. I'm going to remove this uh, image from there and then add the username, right? So username is stored in the data variable and here in the data there is a property of username, right? So in the, here we are excited to get start first. We need to confirm your account and uh, I'm adding this here, a property of uh, your your email is your email is uh, this one so this one is our data and then this one containing an email so now it will print this email and this username in the email right so let's go here and let's give it a refresh so now it's going to send us an email again right so let me delete this out it's sending an email with the dynamic properties so wait for a moment if there is any error we are going to fix this error oh email is sent so let's get refresh here and yes email is received so let's click on it and and yes we are receiving the username here and then user email so we are successfully able to pass the dynamic properties to our email so it's very simple you can pass any of the information from this email object right email instances so you can pass the multiple variable here you can also pass this so multiple variable bad so stuff and uh, stuff like that and remember if you are passing the two or three params to this pet mail so you need to also receive them from receive them 
here three or four parameters which you are defining so it means that both one would be same so then it's going to work like a charm so i'll meet you in the next one bye bye